Hello, I'm Casey with Luxly, and today I'm gonna to show you how to update the firmware on your lights. First, you'll need to set them into bootloader mode. So here's how you get into bootloader mode using a viola. So you're gonna take it, put the battery in, you're gonna hold the menu button, then you're gonna hit the power button. You'll see it pop up on the screen with bootloader running. Once that's ready to go, all you gotta do is connect your micro USB cable right here on the side, and then you're gonna connect it to your computer. If you get it into bootloader mode, and you don't need to actually change the firmware, don't worry about it, pull the battery, your light still works. So here's how you do it for a cello. Once again, have the battery in, just like before. Hold the menu button, hit the power button, you'll see bootloader running pop up, and then you're just gonna connect it to the micro USB port right into your computer. And finally on the big guy, what you're gonna do, take your timpani, and you're actually gonna do it a little bit differently. You're gonna hold this button here, then hit the power button, and you'll see it pops up, bootloader running. You're all set. Once again, if you're not ready to actually update the firmware or connect it to a computer, but you find yourself in bootloader mode, don't sweat it. All you do is pull the battery, you're all set. It's not gonna do any damage to your lights. So once you connect your light to your computer, you're gonna see a drive pop up called Luxly. Sometimes on a PC, it'll ask you to repair your drive. Do not repair the drive, skip it, continue. It'll open as normal, it's not an issue. So when you get into the drive, you'll notice that there's two files. There's a .bin file and a .txt file. What you're getting rid of is the bin file. That's your firmware. So select it, delete it. Do not drag it to the trash. You need to actually fully delete it. And here's how you do that. On a PC, you can either right click or just press delete. On a Mac, you're gonna hit command delete and that will delete the file instantly. So now you have your extracted folder from the zip file you downloaded from the Luxly website. In the folder, you're gonna have your instructions and you're gonna have the firmware file. That firmware file is case sensitive. Do not change the notes, do not change anything. You're going to drag and drop this file directly into your light. So, having two folders open, you're gonna have your Luxly folder and you're gonna have your extracted folder. Just drag and drop the new firmware into the Luxly folder and once it's there and fully written, then you're gonna eject the Luxly drive. On a Mac, you can do this two ways. Either drag the Luxly drive into the trash or hit Command E and that will eject it instantly. It will just disappear. On a PC, you right click on the drive, little drop down menu is gonna pop up, hit eject and it's gonna say, this drive has been safely ejected. Once it's been safely ejected, then you can pull the USB cable and your light will restart as normal. And viola, voila, done and done. Your light's gonna restart, no problem at all, and you're gonna have your new firmware built in. For more sweet, sweet videos and exciting announcements, smash that subscribe button, like this video, do whatever you gotta do. This has been Luxly Light Video, goodbye.